Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Link, the reselling white boy, and today I've got a little haul video for you. So I've got a few toys, um, different figures, Lego sets, stuff like that. Not a major haul, just a couple of pickups, quite large pickups, uh, that should return a good few hundred pounds. Before we get into the video, I just want to appreciate all your support yet again. We've nearly hit 500 subscribers now, so yeah, really appreciate that. So yeah, I've had a few messages on eBay uh, regarding my YouTube channel and wanting to support me and stuff. Um, I just dropped me a message on YouTube or on Instagram at the reselling white boy. Uh, obviously, if I start message people over eBay when it's not about the item, uh, you can get in trouble for that. So yeah, just bear that in mind, guys. I'm not ignoring you on eBay at all. Just drop me a message on YouTube or on Instagram. Links are down below for Instagram. Also in the description, I've included everything I use in my business from my label printer, which is there with the beer. So it's the Zebra GK420D. Um, all my different packaging gear, everything I use for the business, different steamers, lint removers. So for you guys, this will be Friday evening, so I hope you all have a cracking weekend. Just before we start the haul, a little beer, it's Thursday night, so just a couple of beers. Um, so yeah, down below are my new Amazon links. So basically this is everything I use in my business. Um, so it's from packaging gear to different steamers, um, my thermal printer, which is there, the Zebra. So yeah, everything is down below. If you purchase anything through the links in my description, it helps me out. Very tiny amount, but yeah, it does help me out as I don't make anything from YouTube. As always, guys, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll get right into the video. So, this is the first pickup. We have got a Sylvanian family's Regency Hotel. This cost me £40, and I should be able to aim for over £100 for this. Um, so yeah, really good building to look out for with your Sylvanian families. Somebody it's hit and miss. So yeah, look out for this one. I'm going to unbox it. Get it out and show you what it's about. So I'm going to do this all in one big bundle. There's only the hotel and a few little things and stuff. So we've got the Cotton Tail Rabbit family. So yeah, a few little figures in there. Uh, obviously, I don't know what they're worth on their own, to be honest. I think they would have been with the set, possibly. Maybe separate. So yeah, I'm going to include them all in a bundle anyway. <laughs> So better with me guys, I am working in a tight space tonight, but this is the hotel, little doors and stuff, awesome little building, we've got lots of furniture on the inside, um, we've got the doors for this, I think there is a door for this in the inside here, uh, little bits of furniture, obviously we've got the figures and stuff, but yeah, search this one up, this is the Regency Hotel, um, boxed as well, with a little bit of... Um, little bit of extras we've got the little veranda stuff for the outside it opens up on the back i'll open that up in a second but yeah you can aim for over 100 pound for this one this cost me 40 pounds already got a box obviously i'll pad it out make sure it's all safe and sound so yeah this will be a nice quick seller uh aim for over 100 pound with the accessories and i should be, get, be able to get uh eat more than double my money so yeah happy days with that one so i've just taken half off but there's another few bits in here we've got the party set and we've got Lots of little accessories, flower beds, and all that good stuff. And then you fill out the um, fill out the hotel, get some nice photos, and get it moving. Uh, I've just taken this half off just so I can fit it in the frame. I don't even know if it's all in the frame, to be honest. But awesome stuff. So the next little bit, just this little Batwoman DC, um, the Cape Crusader figure by Spin Master. Picked this up from a supermarket for eight pounds. I've already sold one of these for twenty two ninety nine, I believe. Uh, I'll pop that up somewhere around me now. Just sold that a couple days ago. Managed to find another one, so I thought I'd pick her up. So yeah, more than double my money again with her. So yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, they're not that sought after, but they're selling, which is cool. Um, first edition, it says on it. Don't think that means much because I don't don't recall a second edition coming out. But yeah, they're pretty cool figures. Uh, you get three mystery accessories with them. Uh, not sure if it's the same for each character. But yeah, twenty two ninety nine, I believe I'm getting for those, and it cost me eight pounds. So yeah, more than double my money. Happy days. Not a great complex figure. Uh, Spin Master's not even a great company to be honest. Uh, they make like a lot of spy gear and stuff like that, I think, and some other gear like that. But yeah, it's not it's not a great figure. As you can see, there's quite a little few paint errors and stuff. But yeah, happy days. If I can get another twenty three pound for her, um, awesome. So this next sale is a bit of a random one. It's just a freebie off my dad. Um, it's literally, I don't know if you can see it on the camera down here, but it's a boxing VHS set, uh, 1 to 21. It's actually missing uh, number 18. Let me just try and hold them up a little bit for you. 
So yeah, you should be able to see them now. So yeah, it's 1 to 18, uh, 1 to 21, sorry. Uh, and it's missing number 18. Not sure the going value for these. I might split them up 1 to 10 and then, you know, uh, 11 to 17 or something random like that. Or I might just bundle them together. Can't imagine them being more than 20, 25 pound in them. They might be a bit less, might be a bit more. But yeah, nice little freebie. Be able to move those on. Some pretty cool fights. Uh, Muhammad Ali fights, quite a few of those. Who else have we got? I can't really read upside down. We've got Mike Tyson, Duran. Um, Hagler. I can't read upside down. But yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, we've got like a little George Foreman fight there. Well, not very little, but yeah. Some classic fights on VHS. I'm sure there's some collectors out there, which will be after these. No money spent, all profit. And now onto my favourite pickup of the day. Um, so yeah, it's a massive, massive Lego pickup. Um, so yeah, I'll talk you through it. it. Might take a while, but yeah, for anyone who's into reselling their Lego, lots of stuff to see. So we've got a massive tub full of sets, keychains, minifigures, the lot. We've got a Lego head. We've got base plates and lots and lots of stuff to go through. So what I'll start with the stuff that I picked out, and then we'll work our way through the big box. So yeah, there's quite an interesting story behind this one. I agreed the deal for seventy pounds with the lady. Um, she already had it up for 70 I just said yeah I'll come and get it uh, it was in the morning sometime about 11 o'clock and then I said it'll be about an hour or so just getting up getting ready and sorting stuff out so yeah she got back to me about five minutes later saying sorry someone's offered me 80 pounds uh, I'm gonna give it to them even though I messaged first it's one of those people who will take the highest offer so I was like all right uh, no worries I was I would have matched 80 pound anyway she was like all right yeah uh, that's fine uh, come and get it if you can get it fast it's like one of those oh first come first serve i don't like it i like it when people mark it as pending and just wait for you to come so yeah it's really odd when people want first person to get it get out of the house and, and then they've got this money why not wait the hour uh you know it, mind boggling but agreed on 80 got up got off my butt and went and got it so yeah i was really happy when i did get it because there's a lot of stuff that weren't photographed which was in it so we'll talk through what we've got so yeah, I've got the base plates out first. So we've got half of a grey base plate, which is a bit random. They chopped that one in half. We have got a small green base plate. We have got a small desert base plate. And then we've got two sealed green base plates. These base plates were in the listing. So two green base plates. They're about £10 each, those. Bear in mind, I paid £80 for the whole lot. So what are you talking there with those? And half, and half the grey, about £30 there. And then we have got four... Of the large base plates brand new and sealed these are 15 pounds each so if you do the maths that's 60 pounds with the four of those so that's your 80 90 pound back just with base plates there's one two three and four so there's your money back jobs are good so yeah everything else is pure profit um so yeah let's get into it first thing i'm going to pick out they had lots and lots of Keychain. Obviously, they didn't even show inside these tubs. They just shown it as a tub. I just seen a couple of the sets, and I saw yeah, just a couple of the sets really. Uh, a couple of the big minifigs, and I thought yeah, there's got to be some decent stuff in there. So that's why I went on it uh, just off instinct. But yeah, open up this. Uh, I've already pulled a few. I've already pulled a few out, which I've just photographed. So yeah, I'll talk you through these. These are in the red, the red tub as well. So these are all minifigure keychains. So I've done a few bundles with these. We've got Princess Leia. We have got a Purple Catwoman. We have got a Emperor Guard, Star Wars one. We have got Emmett off the Lego movie. We have got Lego Batman Robin something off that movie. Got a Darth Vader. I checked these are legit Lego as well. Some of them haven't got the actual Lego bit on them. Must have uh, fell off or whatnot. Uh, that is Wild Style from the Lego Movie. That is Mr. Mr. Master Yoda. We have got Chewbacca. C-3PO. And the Police Officer from the Lego Movie. So yeah, as you can tell, I bundled Star Wars ones, Lego Movie ones. Some really good money in those. And then we've just got a massive tub full. It's hard to even show you, like, fathom how many there is in here. But we've got another Catwoman. We have got a Hulk, all official. We have got a Joker with a hat on. We have got that dude off the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have got a Flash. A Darth Maul with his cape. Captain America, dark one. 
Uh, I think that is Black Widow, I want to say. So that's the other dude off Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, the guy from Jurassic World. Batman. Then we've got all four of the Ninja Turtles. So I'm not sure I'm all the names. I think we've got Donatello and the, and the guys. That's all I'm going to call them. There's good money in those. <laughs> plenty more to go around so literally that's just the keychains and then a few random mini figures so let's say about 80 pound for all of the base plates and then the mini figures uh just the keychains probably about 50 pound at a minimum i'm going to split them up there'll be good money in those what we're going to do we're going to crack open the big box and see what we can find because i've not actually been through it all yet uh i've just briefly had a look so i pulled out some of the mini figures what i could see in some bigger boxes and popped them in this organizer box so a pretty cool box from B&M. So you can store some big stuff at the bottom and then some things at the top. Really comes in handy. Just a random storage box. But yeah, so these are from some of the sets that are inside. So I'm not sure on all the characters, so bear with me. I know a lot of these are superhero sets, so I'll just pop through. We've got the Joker. We have got that mister. We have got a Batman with the back to front cape. Another Batman. We have got Bruce Wayne, I think. That half and half dude. That half and half dude. We have got, I believe that's Bane. And then we've got a couple of yellow people. We've got Robin. Another yellow dude. Another yellow dude. A uh, tiny little Batman thing. Seen that in my last video, actually. We had another one of those. We've got loads of superhero logos to sort through. Little Catwoman and a bike. And then just a random police bike. So inside, we have got this Jeep, which goes with them half and half guys, pretty sure. Some random little mining thing. Uh, we've got like a really small scale bat, bat bike thing. Uh, just a little quad and some other stuff. Some bigger bat wings. I'm not too sure. Obviously, I've got instructions and all that. So, I'm going to work through these over the next couple of weeks. But, yeah, let me just pop those back and then we'll crack open some more. I'm just going to pan over to my cat because he's just not impressed that the big light's on. He's like, what are you doing? Got a Lego head. Get about £25 just for the Lego head. So, yeah, nice to know for you guys. Then we've got loads of gear in here. Uh, some random stuff, maybe some figures, maybe some fake Lego. But yeah, it looks all real, to be honest. So these will be all from different sets. She just said this is all the loose bits. Just popped them all in this one uh, little tub. And then all the rest pretty much built up. It's got a random little dolphin. I'm just going to briefly pull a few bits out. So let me just have a dig, see what I can find. So yeah, just had a random look. See if I can pick out any unique pieces from the Lego head because it's all random in there. Just see if I can pick out a different head or some random stuff. Found a little random figure, Disney one. Not sure if that's like PJ Masks or something like that. I'm not too sure. If you know, let me know. We have got a little horse, which is a pretty cool figure. Uh, has it got Lego on it? Possibly. Yeah, it has. So yeah, pretty cool horse. We have got a surfboard. Pretty cool. So we've got a Ninjago, uh, like face cover, robe thing, got a little crown, and then a couple of headless figures. Then just like little random silver dude in there, if anyone knows who he is, let me know. But yeah, just some random stuff that I'd pick out, get a little selection from there. We've then got one of them little torches, uh, which has actually run out of battery, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I think you'd get a little bit of money for this, uh, be able to clean him up and change the batteries, pretty cool. So I found a little random Joker uh, mystery blind bag figure. Uh, he's got his little camera and his swimsuit, little tourist Joker. Pretty cool. Right, so I thought I'd pull some instructions out to kind of gauge what we've got going on. But we've got 70909. Pretty thick book, to be honest. Uh, I think I did search this one up. They might be about 70 to £80 pound in this. Hopefully all the figures are there. I've seen quite a few of these, to be honest. So hopefully some will be there. That'd be cool. We've then got 70907 with that big green dude, as you can see. That's pretty cool. 
and then we'll try and pick out some of the sets. So yeah, we've got this awesome white car. Uh, it looks like a DC villain or something like that. It's got High Flyer on it. Uh, obviously, I still need to research all these, but it definitely looks like a high value set. Quite a cool one with the big, unique wheels. Really cool shape. These pieces are really unique too. Awesome car. So next, we've just got a random transformer in the middle of the midst of the Lego. Uh, not sure what brand this is. If anyone knows, let me know. Uh, might be worth something. Pretty cool. I've not tried to put it into its car form yet, but yeah, pretty cool figure. We have got what seems to be the Avengers ship. So what they would travel on, uh, like a gunship type thing. Pretty cool. It's got the Avengers stickers on and it's broke. But yeah, pretty cool set. So there's that big truck with the big wheels that we saw on that 7. I think it was 70907 or something like that. And then there's the green dude to go with it. Bap. So yeah, pretty cool set. Massive wheels, those. Great set. Yeah, I'm not sure what film this is off, to be honest. If it's off like a DC series or a film or whatnot. I'm more of a Marvel guy. Um, it would be a bit embarrassing if this is Marvel now. But which is cool. You see the uh, the stick there? It's a, an 8-ball, which is pretty cool. Whoop. Then we've got a Riptide. Seems to be a spaceship, like a Batman spaceship. Speedboat type thing. Looks more like a speedboat, jet speedboat, something like that. Got like a little random Lego City Green Range Rover, which is pretty cool. And there's another little bit of that set, the duck, the duck and cover. One of the stickers is upside down. That's quite annoying. <laughs> so there's like a half-built figure there. Not sure of the character again. Obviously, I'm not a massive DC guy, but yeah, really cool dude. I can see other bits of his body in the uh, in the box, but yeah, how cool is that? And we've got part of like the Bat Cave, which you can see there with all the screens and stuff. The other bits and bobs are in here. I'm not going to pick everything out. But yeah, other little bits and bobs from them sets are all down here. And then we've just got the uh, the red tub to go through and see if we can find any cool minifigures. This is really cool as well. This is like a proper bat bike with the big wheels. I remember saying in the last video, this were, this were a great bat bike, but this is proper big wheels. Looks a bit more like how it should. So this is quite deceiving. You've got Lego Juniors, easy to build set. I don't think so. Let's crack it open. We have got an Ant-Man, pretty cool, awesome stuff, don't think he's fully complete, it might be a few bits missing, but probably be in here anyway, pretty cool, as you can see, so I know my Marvel, got another bat bike type thing, big wheel, blue and red one, not sure if that's custom, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and dish out all the minifigures and I'm going to talk through them. All right, so I've been through here, there's an absolute ton of figures inside, um, and to that degree that they're definitely more than what there is sets. So yeah, we'll just crack into it. So yeah, I'm going to try and fly through these figures as quick as I can. Because uh, I don't want the video to be mega long, take up too much of your time. But if you have enjoyed, remember hit that like button and we'll get right into it. So yeah, we've got like a cool bat speedboat. We have got a Batman with a little six pack and his little stand. With a little lifeguard thing. Because I'm a lifeguard. We have got, I don't know all the DC characters, so don't shout. That dude. I'm going to pop him back into the tub as I do it. So quite a few of these are like headless, because I can see loads of heads bouncing around in the box. But we can see these guys. We have got a couple of Iron Men. Those dudes. I think she's off the Avengers, maybe. Yeah, she kind of looks like the dude off... Um, the dude she kind of looks like the girl off bloody doctor who amy pond couple more batmans these capes flying through the air but yeah a couple of batmans got that violet dude that headless dude that zombie dude got that umpty dumpty looking guy who's off one of the sets this cb looking guy i've seen his hair knocking about somewhere Obviously, if you want to correct me at any point, it's not Zebra Guy and Umpty Dumpty Guy. Let me know in the comments which, which characters these are. But yeah, you get the gist. I'm not a massive, I don't, not a really crazy superhero fan. Um, I do qu know quite a bit of my Marvels, but still not to a mad extent. I've watched all the films and stuff. But yeah. He's a pretty cool dude. Woman, not sure. Got a little golden cape. We got that guy with no legs. 
It's uh, Batman with his hair out. Got that silver dude. That blonde lady. So we've got Spider-Man with a weird ass eye. We have got that guy. We have got this surfer dude. So I'm guessing there's like a little surfer set in here somewhere. That's the Green Goblin. I think I've seen his hair knocking about in there. And uh, the last couple of bits, we've got a little penguin with red eyes. We've got a headless Batman. Looks like a headless bloody Colonel Sanders. Looks like KFC's on the way with that one. We have got a, another Iron Man, because I think there's quite a few Mark Iron Mans in that set. And we've just got a couple of heads knocking about. I didn't get them all out because there's tons of heads, but there's a couple there if you can focus on those. But yeah, overall, tons of Lego, lots to do. Um, obviously, it's nice to have the stock. With Lego, it is time consuming, but obviously for an £80 investment, I get the money back from the plate straight away. And every, everything is pure profit, so I feel like I'm working... Uh, for just pure profit after that because the work's already been done with the plates i bundled the plates up the gray one one gray one with one green one for 24.99 i've done two of those and then i've sold two gray ones on their own well not yet i've listed them on their own um so yeah awesome stuff just a small haul which is still pretty big um but yeah hope you enjoyed it obviously it's not for everyone uh lego and zillanian families uh, you know what i mean it's not for everybody so yeah for all the guys who do sell stuff like this uh happy days obviously if you don't sell stuff like this there's money to be made uh if you're willing to put in the time but yeah guys which is your favorite pickup out of these lot what have you been picking up recently let me know in the comments down below hit like hit subscribe and don't forget enjoy your friday i've been john luke the reselling white boy and i'll see you next time take care